I'm Joy Philbin, and we're at home with Brian Botano. When Brian moved into his two-story home in San Francisco, he knew that he would have to do some renovating, but he also discovered that paint and color could leave their own lasting impressions in a room, and that creative ideas are limitless. Like his performances on the ice, Brian Boitano's home is memorable and unique, right down to the master bath. If you think you're looking at the Italian countryside, well, that's the idea, even if it didn't start out that way. I told the painter that I wanted ruins of a, a mythological place. And for some reason, I was thinking of monochromatic ruins. I was thinking it was going to be in, like, sort of off white and uh, tans, and I don't know why, that's what I pictured. And the first day he started paint painting, he was painting the blue sky, and I walked in and I went, blue, oh blue, it's gonna be colors, colors, my God, I, I wasn't expecting it, but now it's sort of, it's okay to do that if it's a small space like that. Using a painting style called trompe l'oeil, which adds depth and dimension to a flat surface, the painter added one more creative touch to the wall before finishing the job. This Roman numeral, which reads 1988, it's the year Brian Boitano won Olympic gold in figure skating. I wanted a small space that was a little decadent, a little bit over the top, but, you know, I, all my friends said, okay, you got to stop after you just do the bathroom, because I was like, maybe the dining room, I should do clouds, like a sunset sky on the thing, and they're like, no, 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 I think that you need to stop. You did it in the bathroom, and that's enough. Marble countertops complement the Italian design of the room, and Brian had extra cabinets built in for storage. On the opposite side of the bathroom, a walk-in closet was converted into a tiled steam room. Next to the master bath is the master bedroom with an eclectic mix of styles. For Brian, it is still a work in progress, but one he enjoys. The most difficult room to design is my bedroom, my master bedroom. It is so big and it's really hard to uh, get the cozy feeling in there. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm slow to change that because I don't want to jump into it. I think things have to evolve slowly. By using colors that complement one another, Brian found that he could combine different styles. He even found a place for an Art Deco chair and ottoman that once belonged to his uncle. When he died, it went into storage. And when my sister said, I'm going to get rid of that chair, do you want it? It had like, you know, cigarette burn holes in it and everything, and a the very ugly green. Um, upholstery and uh, I said you know I do I do want it and I upholstered it um, in the dark chocolate um, brown uh, mohair and um, that was you know original to the art deco kind of stuff and I, I placed it in my bedroom and it's I, I love things like that because it's remembrances of my mom and dad and you know their family a patterned wool rug adds color and texture to the room while floor length drapes block out unwanted light it's not a usual type of, of drapery, it's more of a tapestry and I had to have it backed, but I think it's a really great um, idea to, to, to block out the sun and it's a real thick thing. When it's time to relax during waking hours, Brian heads for this room, his den. Plush, comfortable furniture and pine furnishings make it the perfect place for company or solitude. I do get trapped into the whole uh, earth tones kind of thing, you know, happening. Uh, I'm just a sucker for that, like the rusts and the olive greens and the golds and stuff like that. The armoire splits into six pieces. It's 350 years old. Brian came up with a perfect solution for storing videos and CDs. He turned extra closet space in the den into a walk-in music and video library. My favorite part of that entire room is the CD closet because everything's alphabetical order, also in, you know, it's, it has a classical, pop rock, Broadway, like all different categories. Everything that I need for, to skate and work is in, that, is in that closet. Despite his remarkable career, there are few reminders that you're in the home of a world-class figure skater. A collection of antique posters that hang in the den are the only hint of Brian's passion, but that too was part of the plan. When I come home from skating and doing my business, it's my, it's my place to relax and to get away from all that. So I don't want a lot of skating things. Brian also likes to collect antique skating magazines. His Olympic gold medal, by the way, is tucked away in a safe deposit box. Sometimes the memories are enough. We're back at home with Brian Boitano in a moment. Expect the unexpected when we hit the roof for a creatively designed room next.
skater Brian Boitano in San Francisco. Much of the decor in Brian's home was inspired by the gold and orange tones found in the Tuscan region of Italy. Well, Brian wanted an outdoor space that also captured the spirit of Tuscany, and he managed to create it in a cozy courtyard attached to his house. Indoors or out, you are never far from Italy when you visit the home of Brian Boitano. This small courtyard is visible from most rooms in the house. I wanted it to be like an Italian courtyard, but I wanted it in the middle of my house. And to have little dinner parties out there for people, you know, it gets a little chilly out there, so I have some heaters, space heaters and stuff like that. Now here's an unexpected find on the roof. Brian has transformed an old shed into a colorful and creative kind of multi-purpose room. I call it my tiki room because they have bamboo walls and I have an Indian bed up there. It's sort of like a, a hangout room. The bamboo walls are really bamboo window shades that cover drywall and cement. An inexpensive idea and a great look. Another surprise hangs from a beam in the ceiling, a Venetian glass chandelier that once hung in the master bedroom guy that designed all the lighting fixtures and he's a specialist and came into the house it was still hanging in the master bedroom and I said you know I don't know what to do with that thing it's, it's not attractive at all and he said man if you don't want that thing I'll take it and I said well come on it's peeling the gold's peeling off of it he goes it's supposed to be that way it's Venetian glass and I said okay well I'll just hang it upstairs in the tiki room <laughs> so I did I don't know if it works but it's fun Brian Boitano may be the Gene Kelly of figure skating, but at home, he wanted a peaceful atmosphere where he could focus on family, friends, and comfort. High marks on the ice and high marks in design, Brian Boitano has achieved yet another personal best. My home means escape. Escape from the rat race. I just spend so much time on the road and, and spending time in hotels and spending time backstage in cold coliseums, you know, with cement everywhere. Um, when, I, when I come to my home, I want privacy, um, seclusion, peace, um, and just to, to, to feel that it's something that I've created for myself. Brian says his parents and other family members often visit him at his home, and he loves having them over. And you know that tiki room? It's his nephew's favorite place to sleep and we understand why. That's our show. We hope you've enjoyed being at home with Brian Boitano and have been inspired by some of his great ideas for home decorating. I'm Joy Philbin. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>